Oh, I mean, I think it's just special because it's the next one. Dick, for, for you guys as a defense, obviously you look and, and you see Nick Chubb, Sonny Michelle. The, the goal is always to, to run first. How, how much of a challenge is this week with those guys? Oh, I mean, I think definitely this week we got to really prepare because, I mean, we're playing against two great backs. And, I mean, I think that's what you see every week in the SEC. I mean, they got a one-two punch. And, uh, I mean, we see that they've been very efficient this year on the run. So I think that in order for us to be able to get our job done Saturday, that we're going to have to be able to make them a non-factor. How much have have you grown up as a player being a full-time starter from, from week one to where you are now? Uh, I think a lot. I, mean, I feel like Coach G pushed that upon me, and he's, t he's making me do a lot more than what I did last year. And, I mean, I think that's just kind of helping me grow up. What's the biggest – the biggest part of your game that you feel like you've improved at? Uh, I think just being able to being able to read the game a lot better. Because last year, I mean, everything was really fast. I mean, as the season went on, it kind of slowed down. But I think also being able to handle the mental capacity of everything. Derek, a lot of people were talking in the preseason about well, how are they going to be able to replace Carl and Mom. Did that bother the guys that were still here? Like, hey, we're pretty good players too. No, I mean, I think, well, I mean, we, we played with Cole and I think that like, you realize like those are two great players that play here, and they did a great job with they here. But, I mean, also going into the season, you can't worry about the past anymore because the only thing that matters is what's ahead. Derek, no extra vibes? I mean, so many guys from Georgia on your team that doesn't mean more to them? Uh, I mean, I think, like, as, I can only speak as a defense because the guys that spend most time around, I mean, I think that we're preparing for it like we do every other week. How much has, has Tyrone Truesdale helped you guys just in terms of being able to, to play some snaps, give you some reps, and give you a breather, playing that kind of that role that you know some of these guys have played in the past as, as young guys? I mean, I think Truesdale is a special guy. I mean, I think he's going to be a special player. I mean, Coach G is definitely pushing him hard. And, I mean, I think as he continues to be here, he will understand that. He will understand why. Because, I mean, I went through the same thing my freshman year. Coach G coaches hard. And, I mean, you don't understand why at first, but, I mean, you got to lean on your brothers while you're out there, and you got to understand that this is all for a reason. What about uh, what about TD? He gets his, his first first full sack yesterday. He's he's really come on the last couple of weeks since he's been healthy. What have you seen out of him? TD is strong. <laughs> TD is really really strong, and uh, I think that I mean I think as TD f keeps figuring this out, just like Truesdale, like I mean you're looking at two dominant players that can dominate the SEC in the future. How how crazy? Can this week get, and how much, how important is it to to not play the game on Tuesday or Wednesday, and to 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 kind of let it kind of gradually build up to Saturday? Well, I think I mean Tuesday and Wednesday. I mean every single week we play a big game because I mean like go to LSU, like Arkansas, all those games are so hyped up about everything. But I mean all, at the end of the day, all we can do is us. I mean we get to go outside of practice Tuesday. I mean we have a hard practice Tuesday, hard practice Wednesday, and then Thursday we just finish up the week. But, I mean, I think not playing the game this week is going to be big for us because as long as we treat it like every other week, then we should have a problem doing so. How, how hurt has Marlon been this year? I mean, I know he won't say anything about it, but, I mean, and he's going to play if he can play. But it, it, it seems like he's, he has never been at full strength this year. No, I think Marlon's good. I don't think he's hurt at all. <laughs> because, I mean, he practices every day. I mean, he comes out here. I mean, he goes to, he goes to the game every single time. I mean, he may be nicked and bruised on the sideline, but I mean, at the end of the day, he's still out there playing. So, I mean, I don't call that hurt. You good? Good. All right, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Eric. Appreciate it.